I have many legislative priorities for the 9th District of New York, as I've shared with many of our constituents and many of them, uh, the people I serve, who we call constituents, are, uh, no, we are really in a challenging time in our nation. My district is a very diverse constituency. It's it's a, a, a view into the globe around us. I represent people from Turkey, Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Taiwan, every Caribbean nation, uh, folks who have moved recently from other parts of the country and have found Brooklyn and think it's so hip and are making it hipper. Um, people have lived in Brooklyn for many generations now. And all of them have various concerns. They want to see criminal justice reform. So many young men from our constituency, you know, were imprisoned on what people call it nonviolent offenses today. But at that point in time, you know, it was a lock them up mentality. People are looking for restorative justice and we're working on that. Comprehensive immigration reform. About 40% or more of my district are foreign born. Uh, many more are first generation, second generation like myself. And I'm concerned about the expansion of broadband. So there are parts of my district where everyone can have access to the internet and there are other parts of the district where not everyone is able to get on. We wanna make sure that the internet, that fiber optics, that broadband is accessible to everybody because our young people are doing their homework online now. Can you imagine being a neighborhood where it's difficult for you to get online and all of your assignments are online? So working to make sure that we do more to encourage our private sector to to complete its its, its projects in our communities and, and to live up to the promises they made to make sure that everyone has access to broadband. Net neutrality is a huge issue, and this has to do with how we all have access to the internet, making sure that every family, regardless of whether they have the wealth or not, can access the internet as the great equalizer in our nation. Everyone wants to be able to surf the net. Everyone wants to be able to chat with their friends and have social media interactions with each other. But can you imagine if the only way you could do that is if you had the money to do that or that, uh, you know, one company decides what content you have access to because they're going to slow down your access to the content that you really you're really interested in. That's a possibility if we don't make sure that we preserve the internet for the next generation. And so I'm fighting that battle too on Capitol Hill. And we have a bill in place called the Save the Internet Act. And I'm a lead sponsor on that legislation. I'm also a lead sponsor on the legislation for, uh, it's called the, the Dream and Promise Act, which is to make sure that uh, families who were, Brought here as children from other parts of the world uh, and came through no, you know, means of their own, but have grown up in the United States or raising their children as American citizens, but lack the documents that say that they are U.S. citizens, that they're given that opportunity. And I'm excited about that because that's going to have ramifications for so many families, so many communities across the United States. And I'm a lead sponsor on that legislation as well. I want to make sure that every vote is counted and that everyone has access to their vote. You know, that's what makes this democracy so special in all the world is that we determine how our leadership develops and that we do that through exercising our right to vote. And we believe that it should be easier for people to vote. So we just passed HR1 in Washington, D.C. Voting rights are very important if we're going to mature as a democracy and we're going to be a shining example of what a democracy truly needs of the people, for the people, by the people. We got to make sure Everyone gets their vote. And there are people proposing that 16-year-olds get the right to vote in Washington, D.C. right now. So, you know, for our young people, they will be engaged even earlier than they are right now.